welcome everybody. This is my first After Effects tutorial on this channel. I mean, if you guys want to see anything else in the comments, I'll probably do that as well. I've had many people on my Vine account. I'll leave that in the description below. Um, ask me for a tutorial on my shakes. So, um, let me just show y'all what that looks like right quick. Many people have requested them and really like them, so I'm um, going to be teaching those. Okay, here we are. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna start with a new project file for this tutorial. All right. I'm just gonna import my clip now. Oh wait, no, I accidentally imported the edit. Fail. Um. File. Another edit. I swear to God. Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go here. This is right, I'm gonna cry. All right. So I got all my footage. All right. So I'm just gonna pull up in a random point, I guess. Oops. Split that. Should I get here? Okay, so now, if you want the shakes to look good and not with like a really black border showing, just put on motion tile, alright, and the settings can be any mirror the edges, settings can be anything, just put this up high, well, as high as you want it, um, and then just go in here, go to transform, click the keyframe position, and we're just going to go ahead and continuously move this up and down. Alright. So, two more for keyframes. Wait, no. Okay. Right about there. And then three keyframes. Right about there. I know final keyframe would be four away. And set that 360. No, oh, you can go longer than this, but these are just, like, my action edit type shakes, not, like, really at the end of an edit, I would say. Yeah, these are, like, quick ones, so uh, just put easy ease on these. Oh, turn on motion blur. And also, you might want to add borders, just so, you, you see that, hold on, you see that up here, the, the motion tile showing, uh, in case you didn't know how to make borders, um, hold on, here we go, just make an adjustment layer, once again, our best friend motion tile, come here, uh, output height, set it to about like 80, Nine or eighty-seven. Well, you can set it to whatever, but those are my personal favorite border settings. I would suppose. See, it's not showing as much, and it looks cleaner. And yeah, that will be your outcome. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope I explained everything correctly. I hope you understand. Um, I hope they come up the same way for you. Thank you for watching.
and I'll see you next time.